This week on One Big Thing in Livestock Markets, we're going to take a look at fed cattle price seasonality. And by that, I mean really the increase in fed cattle prices as we go from the first of the year into the spring. Because we actually have this seasonal price increase in fed cattle prices going on now. Uh, here we are halfway through March. So if we look at seasonal cattle prices, uh, fed cattle prices tend to increase from the first of the year through the spring. If we looked at a seasonal index, for example, we'd see that on that normally fed cattle prices actually hit their peak in about April and then start declining down through into the summer months, into those summer lows. So, so far this year, we've got a, a pretty sharp increase in fed cattle prices. Last week, the week ending March 11th, uh, cash uh, prices in Texas uh, hit 138, which was their high point for the year so far. And we've been trading in a 130 to a little less than 140 range all year long, but it looks like we've kind of hit that seasonal uh, price increase. And we've got those fed cattle prices starting to increase uh, seasonally as well. You know, most of the time when we think about what's going on in spring that drives uh, prices higher, we often think about the underlying meat prices, uh, particularly as we get to kind of spring grilling season and we start thinking about steaks outside and the uh, weather gets good for grilling everywhere in the country, so or hopefully everywhere in the country. And, and I think this year is no exception. If we look at what we call the middle meats, kind of the middle of the carcass, which is largely your steak cuts, uh, whether we're looking at, at ribeyes or strips or tenderloin, all of those has, have increased sharply in the last couple of weeks. In fact, they're all up anywhere from $60 to $100 per hundred weight just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, normally on, say, ribeyes, for instance, we see their peak prices in the year, late in the year as we start getting to Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Uh, but we, we've got a spring rally in those as well. And when we look at strips, uh, they tend to peak in the summer months, our, our good summer grilling, barbecue kinds of outdoor fun months, if you will. Uh, so we've got all of that going on as well. So in terms of this seasonal price rally, I think we've got some time left in it. Uh, and I wouldn't be at all surprised. In fact, I think it's pretty likely we may crack 140 on fed cattle prices uh, before we hit our, our seasonal peak, uh, which often happens in April. Uh, I ought to point out one other thing uh, this week. Uh, on Friday afternoon, March 18th, the USDA will release its cattle on feed report. And we look forward to some uh, kind of pre-report estimates of what's going on. Uh, I think uh, if you look at most market analysts, we would have uh, marketing's up at least 5%. Uh, year over year c c compared to February of a year ago, largely because of Leap Day. Leap Day gives us one more working day in February and we see marketing uh, change because of that. Uh, placements are also expected to be up uh, and on balance the, on the total cattle on feed on January, or excuse me, March 1, uh, ought to be perhaps down just a little bit from a year ago, although if placements come in sharply higher than expected, then we might see cattle on feed above a year ago as well. So we'll watch for that report next Friday when it comes out.